Oh, okay, I see. Let's get really loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before in my life. A corrupted sentinel, that's crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. Hey guys, the Hacker Nerd here. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content. Let's get started with the video. Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We're doing a little bit of bonus No Man's Sky this week uh, because um, my schedule is a little bit funky and Outer Worlds, Outer Worlds is coming out soon. So we're doing like two No Man's Sky streams this week. Um, yeah, so if you like No Man's Sky, awesome. There'll be more of that coming out. Um, so yeah, last episode we left off here. Uh, we're talking to the cartographer dude uh, because something about trying to get the word of Herc or something. So yeah, that, that was, was kind of funky. So if you saw last episode, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. It's the best I got. I'm terrible about explaining things. It's just how it is. So we got to speak to the Corvax cartographer. Corvax, I thought it was Viking. Hmm, maybe we have to do that. Test for me to feel something's happening to the galaxy. All right, I will have to talk to that dude. That dude. Share Viking revelations with Nada. Okay. All right, maybe we just have to travel to a Corvax system here in a moment. We will eventually find the next Atlas interface. So let's go ahead and uh, double check. Why can't I move? There we go. Double check to make sure. I forget which system I'm in, so I always want to make sure that I, I'm not missing my upgrades. So we're good there. Okay. Uh, also for finances, 1.8 mil. Got a pretty decent amount of nano clusters. I'm going to start looking for the S-Class upgrades everywhere I go. I know how this works, buddy. Do you? Okay. B, B, C, B, 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 S. Shield module. Exosuit defensive systems. Okay. Yeah, that might be worth it. And there's a move, another movement module. Thermal protection module. Okay. Ooh, I might be getting a lot of stuff. Radiation protection, life support. Oh, my God. So many S's. Oh, good lord. Uh, mm, okay, I'm about to load up. So, shield module. Movement module. Thermal protection. Radiation. Life support. Oh, no! Okay. That's going down a lot quicker than I expected. Uh, life support would have been nice, but it's fine. Hopefully, I didn't just, like, double up on stuff. So, let's see what we got here. I know I don't have a lot of space to work with. And I know I need to un uh, unlock a lot of technology slots here, but we can move that stuff around eventually. So, um, movement, that's a B movement, and that's a C movement. So you can probably get rid of some of this stuff. Um, thermal, that can go here. What is that? Thermal, that'd be two thermals. Radiation can go there. Uh, upgraded... It's a movement system. Okay, so technically that could go there. So can we move that there? Okay, it looks like we now have five working together. I thought it was a limit of like three or four, but it seems to be working, so I ain't complaining. Okay, can't do that. Okay, let's get rid of jetpacks. Jetpacks 104, sprint distance plus 10, fuel efficiency minus seven. I mean, is that more efficient or less efficient? Let's uh, let's get rid of. That one. Yeah, let's dismantle that one. And then we'll move this here. There we go. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and install this guy. Install that guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. I'm awesome with this. E to install. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got all that stuff situated. We got a translator. Is there anything else? Shield module. I'm assuming maybe I can put that here. Let's go ahead and install. Yeah. Oh, wow. That lines up all nicely. Viking tablet. All yeah, right. So that gives us core strength 33% and shield strength 88%. Ooh, that's pretty significant. Uh, of course, we need phosphorus ion battery or advanced ion battery to charge this guy. We need dioxide ion battery, uranium ion battery. So 
Iron batteries. We're gonna have to start making a lot of those. Put the Atlas Pass back there. Now we're working with a lot less space down here, but it's fine. It's fine. Got the oxygen recycler and the hazard protection. I feel like. Nah, it's good. It's good. All right. Um, and I'm low on nanite clusters, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to grab anything else. Let's go ahead and hop out here, uh, talk to Nada, and then see what we need to do about visiting Vortex, uh, Corvax. Vortex? Corvax? One of those words. All right, let's call that. And what is beeping? I guess I need to scan. Oh, some of those beeping at me. What's up, Jake? Good to see you, man. Okay, for some reason I thought it auto kicked me out, but apparently I'm just being a derp, which is a common thing. Okay, life is everywhere, but nowhere. The Convergence has seen all planets, but where are they really? Where is home? Where is safe? This is a pattern, traveler friend. All things are patterns, signs of the Atlas falsity. Uh, ask about the Corvax. Corvax see across the universe with countless convergent eyes. Uh, minds in harmony, worship Atlas falsity. But to understand Atlas falsity is the edge of our collective mind. Nada does not wish to go, f to, go to that edge. So Nada is divergent. Nada is exiled, hunted. No place for the willful. All right, interesting. Okay, let's see what we got here. We did that. Uh, we're gonna have to go talk to a Corvax cartographer. That's a long nose on that ship. <laughs> That's a funky looking ship. I like the uh, like solar panels or whatever. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, I just smashed headfirst into somebody else, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, so let's look. Well, actually, let's go to our freighter, wherever that might be. You know, let's just uh, make this easy. Uh, Jake, I'm working on transferring bots and stuff over. You still have your viewing time. It's just not displaying it in that output. I'll have it worked up uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks to where it'll show everything it's supposed to show. I should probably have checked the map before I landed, but it's fine. It's good. All right, so we are currently in a Viking area. Uh, is it, it's trying to get us to go there. That's a Vic, or that's a Corvac system. So it's got a couple of planets. Let's check it out. All right, 
and I think also uh, when I first logged in before the stream started, I think my my expedition came back. Let's go ahead and take care of that. How do we do? Okay, trade terminal. Salt recipes, nice. Nice. Salvage frigate module. Interesting. 31, nice. All right. I think this time I'm gonna do something a little bit more, a little bit more funky. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I got a lot of, oh, that was units, not nanites. How many clusters do I have? Um, fuel oxidizer. Reloads frigate engines, allowing them faster than, okay. Interesting, interesting. I want this uh, Sigma, that'd be kind of nice. But uh, we're not there yet. Of course, that doesn't say how many I have. Maybe it's an, is it an inventory thing? Rang loom. Cargo. I mean, I would assume it'd be on the freighter. Salvage data. Salvage frigate module. There it is. Okay. Okay. There we go. So interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, bring some of the stuff back. So the tritium needs to go on the starship. Not that I have the space. Um, the antimatter can stay there. The copper needs to come back on my exosuit. Of course, apparently I don't have a place for copper, which is kind of dumb, but that's yeah, fine. What else? Uh, chromatic metal. There we go. Uh, powder silicate, not worried about metal plating can stay. All right. I think that's good as is. One of these days I'm going to get this stuff all fixed and organized it'll be awesome i might spend some time once i get uh through exploring this area here i might go through and construct the easiest stuff like there's some stuff with like metal plating or whatever i would just need to get a lot of dust and actually i have a lot of dust because that dude randomly gave me a lot of dust so i could do that you know and just get that stuff out of the way and just work on it little by little Go to the system or the station. Am I going to be coming in right here or on the other side? I really hope it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Go side behind the icon. here to get my slot unless I've been here before I don't think I have and of course I went on the incorrect side or did I <laughs> oh no I was the right side okay oh god okay that's a cool looking ship oh that's one of the science ships okay there's a lot of people coming in here very busy terminal means if I had enough money to do the swap a Rooney thing for the market, I can make some money. All right. Give me my thing. Okay. Uh, I should start working on technology slots. Forty thousand, five thousand, six hundred thousand. Let's go ahead and just do a general slot. Let's get that done over with. And then in the uh, Nexus, I'll, I'll do a technology slot. Okay. Cartographic entity something something. All right. Once again, I sense Null's presence. If the Corvax feels it too, they do not show it. 
They begin to speak, their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. The arrival was it processed or possessed? Okay. The arrival of the traveler is anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are the one we seek. There is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Retrieve non-existent data from anomalous structure. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool indeed. Uh, sure, have I keen relations with not? I did, but it's whatever. Let's go see what this stuff's all about. Let's see what these planets have. Salvageable scrap. Interesting. Okay. So what do we have here? I had a dream last night. You were in it. Uh oh. Ask if Artemis is all right. No. Uh oh, no. I don't think I am. I dreamt I finally met you and Apollo. I dreamt that we flew together through the skies, that I was no longer alone. I found parts on this. Wait, uh... On this fabricated planet. Did you leave them here for me? Did you feel sorry for me? Uh oh. It doesn't matter, I suppose. I'm going to build a ship. You gave me a whole solar system. I'm going to see what's out there. Artemis leaves. I do not know if I did the right thing, telling them about the simulation. But for now, my path is clear. I must seek out the Corvax. I must continue my quest for knowledge. I feel bad! <laughs> All right, so that's a salvageable scrap. I'm, I'm interested to see how that goes um, or what that's all about. I want to scan the other planets and then we'll go from there. Ancient bones. Ooh, we might make high sentinel activity. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Uh, we might be able to make a little bit of cash here. Salvageable scrap. All right. Lots of salvageable scrap here. Is there a catalog, right? No. Discoveries. Just th three planets here. Okay. 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 All right. Let's um, drive down to the temperate planet right here below us. Actually, we need to go here. Let's go here. Looks like they fixed the uh, the HUD, the, the, the scaling of all the words and stuff on the, the dash. Oh my, oh my, oh wow, okay. Was this, what's going on here? I can't even see the ground. Is that water, Is am I over water right now? I think I am. Yeah, I am over water. Do I have to, oh no, oh no, okay. Is that something over there? Oh, that's something, okay, 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 okay. Hey, back it up, back it up. Stop at this, oh, this kind of island. <laughs> it is hot outside right now. 220 degrees. How far is that? Okay, it's not too, too far. It's just down and deep in the water. I don't want to go in the water, but I'm going to go in the water. And I'm going to get boiled alive. No, it's only seven degrees. Okay, never mind. I thought that shield with uh, the drop on it meant, like, boiling, but it's not what I thought it was. 
Okay, why am I not going? Oh. There's nothing down here that's one to eat me. That's so deep. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Then we're going to get in. Whoa! Whoa! No! Can I? Can I? Can I? Just do this until it's dead. All right. Does that mean? Does that mean I can collect that and make money on it, or am I about to die? I'm not a guy. Okay. And can I get O2 in here? I'm about to die, I think. Okay, attempting to read memory at something. Access memory. Uh, Jamie, hey, how's it going? Says I've caught you alive. Just want to say thanks for your vids. Been chilling down after work. Oh, awesome, Jamie. I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy making them and hanging out with you guys. So uh, if you ever get a chance, you know, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's when I stream. So come, feel free to come hang out if you can. All right, this connection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Corvax Prime, entities who passed on into the Corvax Echoes, on into the Corvax Echoes, left their shell for their descendants. Okay. So it has been the way of the Corvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. The terminal's message is delivered. It shouts out, no, it shorts out. Its strange existence no longer tolerated by our reality. A small unit, aglow with ethereal lights, is left at my feet. A divergence cube. It's odd. It's very strange. Can I harvest oxygen sack? Yes, please. Thank you. All right, back to the service. There's my ship. There's my ship. Okay. The swimmy bros. Nice. Some more swimmy bros. down there. Forward, please. Oh man. <laughs> well, now it's daytime, at least. And thankfully, the storm's gone. I do want to check out this planet a little bit more, though. But I need to find an area that has more land. Which I'm not seeing any there right now. Let's go up a little bit higher. Let's go straight down. What's up, Andy? How's it going? Good to see you.
super heater green. Alrighty. It's weird that the mammal looking things are in the water and the jellyfish looking things are here. On land. Alright. And I got the thing that gave me money. The scanner upgrade. Come on. For plant life. So not bad. 3,000 for a random plant. Right, let's go grab some trees real quick. Something here. There it is. That looks like a plant, but I know it's not. Well, I haven't scanned it yet. It's not a plant, though. I think that's good for now. See, there's knowledge right there, right around the tree. I should probably recharge my stuff. There we go. That is off 243. Let's, let's go see what that is. I'm curious. It's the first I've seen of anything like that. Nice pop in from the ground there. Oh no! Oxygen, okay. It's a weird sound. I don't know what that was. Manipulator, okay. Hello. Uh, do I need to shoot that? Um. Um. Oh, okay, I see. Let's get really loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before in my life. Corrupted Sentinel. That's crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. Eat it, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and take... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Don't have any of that. Do that. Let's do that. Okay. And then let's uh, go collect this. All right. And let's go hang out down in the hole that we've made. Holy crap. <laughs> that was crazy. That was really crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. That makes things interesting for me. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm at a loss for words. Yeah. Why can't? Okay. Where you at? Right there. Right, I forgot I had that shield upgrade. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Let's go in here again. Whew. 
Oh man. <laughs> Alright, just kind of waiting out the storm. And of course, I don't have anything to fix those, so we're just stuck here for a minute. I'm not going to take it all the way down. I'm going to wait for the storm to pass before I take it down. I don't have to make more bullets <laughs> at this rate. Can I mine this? Like, oh, okay, that's a lot faster. Okay. Is the storm still a thing? Yep, okay, still a thing, okay. I'm kind of an impatient person, so I think I might just go ahead and do it. Oh no, oh no, okay, of course, of course. Uh, let's take care of this guy. hear him. Let's actually call over the ship. And I might actually just go ahead and go up to the station here. While the storm passes. That was crazy, though. Corrupted Sentinel. That's going to open up the uh, story a bit. Potentially. I can't say for sure. Uh, Shmolian, hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just kind of excited. I don't know if you've been watching for a few, but uh, we just caused a corrupted sentinel to appear, and I've never seen that in the game before, and I'm just like really excited about it now. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm getting to the point where I've not seen this far into the game before, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. So welcome to the stream, buddy. All right, let's see what's up. Right, looks up, swiftly scans me, then reveals their catalog of maps and charts. It is real, but I beg, do not expose me further. Your claim is proved, traveler. Okay. I begin my quest, explaining my search for knowledge, my need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. Uh, but as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. Life form. They do not speak. They do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face mask, spilling out into their outstretched hands. Interesting. Uh, the life form grabs me, and in the moment of contact, nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me, tunneling inside my body, through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Oh boy. Even as I stand in space, even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Korvac sees it, a vast tapestry of wonder, of memories shared between countless beings and times. I stand on the Korvac's homeworld as Gek's ship fill the skies. I see the moment the first Korvax was melted down for its rare minerals. But even in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope, a bargain, a prayer to, uh, to a greater being. The Korvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time, an intelligence beyond comprehension, beyond judgment. The vision ends, and I convulse as the nanite clusters spill through my helmet. The Corvax watches me imp impassively. Uh, ask about the. Oh, I understand the reason because he wanted to show me. So let's ask about the Atlas bargain. Let's see here. Uh, how many hours do I have in the save? I think like. I honestly don't know. On. I, I, I should have looked at the save before I loaded, but we can check that out in a few. Okay. Uh, look at the nanite clusters. Look at them. The stuff of the Sentinels. Do you not see the truth of what we have said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters, puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of Sentinel drones. They are just currency traded between species to create technology and weapons, aren't they? 
Uh, they shift and undulate, changing the shape and my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanites cluster. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. They are. There are sixteen of them. They. They need me. They crave me. I only have. I have only one choice. Oh goodness. I take the nanite clusters, and as I do, the Corvax reaches out to me once more. This time, there's no vision, no miracle, just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful, if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. Wow. That's interesting. Let's see. Uh, can I get to my save information here? So, like, uh, almost 20 hours, I guess, is what that means? Or is that the time that I started? <laughs> uh... Okay, so I need to sell some stuff. Divergence cube, okay. What is beeping at me? Just telling me that I'm full, is that what it is? Speak to a get car target for, okay, so that's what, it, we're, we're going through one by one. Let's sell some items. Okay, I want to get rid of the hypnotic eye for one. I never really used navigational data. I'm gonna hold on to the the, the special stuff. Um, copper, silver powder. I don't really care about. Yeah, and let's switch that over to the inventory of my starship. We're good. Okay, I have to do some organization because I'm getting low on space. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go collect that additional slot like I was supposed to. Been following you for over a year. Apologies, haven't made it to your stream in a long time. Oh, it's all right. No worries. I understand how life is. <laughs> Trust me, I understand that completely. But you're here now, and that's all that matters, right? That's cool. We need to go here anyway, so that works out. here. Get that upgrade before I forget. And I lied. I'm not doing the technology upgrade. I'm doing this upgrade. Because I needs it. Okay. So cargo, sodium. Okay. Sodium can go. Carbon should be able to go. Copper, I don't have a slot for right now. Condensed carbon has a slot. Uh, let's put ammunition up there. That looks nice. Let's go talk to Nada. Gek, <clears throat> Gek transgressions clear for all to see, but Gek only follow rules. All entities conform to their pattern. Gek cannot be blamed. It is their pattern. It is determined. Uh, ask about the Gek. Polo friend is unlike other Gek. Polo friend turns their back on greed and war, but po but does Polo friend make a choice? Do other Gek make a choice? Perhaps Polo friend is not good, only anomalous. Nada cannot know, and so Nada does not think on it. Polo friend is Polo friend, and that is sufficient. I like that. It's a good way to look at it. All right, what about Null? Can we ask about Null? 
Okay. Let's talk to Polo. Okay. Do you learn about our origins, traveler friend? Great mysteries, deep patterns, Gek, Corvax, Viking, Sentinel. All are rooted somewhere. Have you clues to your own beginnings? The strangest puzzle. Uh, ask about other Gek. We are all a funny sort, traveler friend. Some are angry, some are greedy, some are dear friends. I will wait my whole life to see what I am. Well said. <clears throat> Let's see, okay, so speak to get cartographer. What else do I have? I have other things that need to be done. Investigate the gek with null. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. Okay, looks like that got finished. I mean, I mean, I didn't do anything, but can I do something about it? Like, can I turn it in even though I, I did not participate at all? Oh, I'm, I'm right here. Okay, it's fine. Uh, nip nip buds. Hunt dangerous pirates? Yeah, of course not. I didn't think so. I just saw that, that it was done. What is going on over here? Oh, there's a ship up there. Shooting, interestingly. And he's stuck. Okay. That's kind of bad. <laughs> That's kind of really bad. I feel bad for that guy. Because <laughs> he's probably not able to get back out. He's just... Yeah, he, he, he's borked. He's going to have to, like, hack a save or something. Okay. Um, let's go back here. Not options. Sorry, log. Patterns in time. Find cartographers. Anything else here that I should really worry about? I'm not going to worry about the scientists. Not worry about expanding the base. Not worry about that stuff. Not worried about that stuff. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be hopping to a GEC system, but I want to go back down to the surface. Well, he is able to move, kind of. But not really. Okay. <laughs> Hunter, okay. All right, Hunter. That's funny. Where is my ship? Um, there it is. Okay. So we're not going to worry about the get cartographer right now. Um, I want to go back down to that one planet. It's a corrosive planet. Um, a salvageable scrap. Let's let's go over there. Might as well. Maybe they won't have superheated storms, but it looks like they're going to have like corrosive storms or something. We'll figure it out. That'll be awesome. I'm sure of it. I want to see what that scrap has because my inventory was full when I tried to get the last one, so I don't know what it was supposed to give me. And it was worth searching. We can make some money off of this or get other things. I don't know. And then, uh, depending on how that goes, we may hop over to that other planet, get some um, bones, I think there were. Go from there. This is a very mountainous area. That high guy. Yeah, I got a haircut. I've been wearing my hat for so long on stream, I figured I'd change it up for whatever reason. How are you doing tonight, buddy? Yeah, it's a very hilly area here. Uh, I wonder if I can find a non-hilly area. <laughs> Or at least a flatter area. Looking crisp, I appreciate it, man. Let's go up a little bit higher. Travel a little bit further over. 
Space is full of hills, it turns out. Yeah, right? It's weird how that worked out. Let's go over here. No down. It looks similar. See how this goes. Alkaline cloud bursts, okay. Low sentinels though. There's a salvage thing there. Salvage thing there. Let's scan a couple plants, just get a little extra cash. daughter's arm is healed. Okay, that's that's good to hear. Um, I, I hate to be weird, but what happened? I, I Did you tell me about this before and I forgot? I do apologize if that's the case. I don't want to just like play it off like, yeah, yeah, no problem, man. No, that's cool. And like not know what's going on. I just have a really bad memory and deal with lots of people's I just realized I can switch between my personal force field. What's going on? And my combat scope. Okay. Okay. I would prefer to use the the personal force field. I didn't realize it was the combat scope was just to like zoom in. Mining beam. Your manipulator. There's butter bones. Make the movie and break. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish you the best. Can we just mine it? Pitted chip. Pitted chip. 174,000. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Okay. I mean, it's not the quickest way to make money, but I'm not going to complain. 675 let's go 675 I wonder if that corrupted sentinel was just a part of the story there and it, now that uh, I'm doing this it's not gonna cause them to show up. Or maybe it's just that one planet. I have no idea. I feel like maybe I should go back to that other planet just to try again. What is that? Ammonia. Okay. Magnetized ferry, that's not too bad. I'm good though, for right now. She's doing better than the other kids by the re by ratio. Okay, that's good to hear. Where it is, found her walker. That's weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, it, it, it does tell you what it's made of, so it's just like, just pick it up, it's fine.
Oh, there's more than one. Okay, let's uh, continue. There it is. Now she's okay. So yeah, that, that's that's interesting. She's able to get around now. That's cool. The intact area. Oh, I said that's interesting to this, and then it's good that she can get around. That's two different things I'm trying to say. Oh man, sorry. Ooh, just just made two mil. That's um. I think uh, I'm gonna hang out and uh, search a little bit more on this this planet here. I mean, I doubt that I'm gonna find another two mil one like really fast, but uh, that that was kind of awesome. Stream to both Twitch and YouTube and uh, Mixer, yeah. Just trying to be able to expand my audience as best as I can, as much as possible. And give people an option to watch on their preferred platform. How do I pull that off? Uh, Restream.io. Basically, I instead of setting OBS to stream out to YouTube Live, I set it to stream out to, U, uh, to Restream. And then I go into Restream and say, hey, these are my platforms, and I connect them up. And I send my signal out to Restream, and then Restream splits that signal and puts it out to the platforms. And there's like something like 20 or so uh, different platforms that they offer. And it's a free service, which is amazing. Like, they do have uh, paid stuff if you want to do like um, custom RMTP or whatever, if you're into that sort of stuff. Or if you want to stream specifically to like Facebook gaming for a a, a, a page, not as you can stream f to a personal profile for free. But if you have a page specifically, you have to pay for that because it's special for some reason. You have to look in that for your wife. Yeah, it's it's pretty e easy. And uh, the other thing is, um, it merges your chats for you, so you don't have to have three chat windows up. So you know, for me, streaming to the three locations. Instead of having three chat windows up, I just have the one chat window up and it merges them all together, which is kind of cool. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> At all. How many? Two, okay. So the more things it's guarded by, the more pricey, valuable. The container is. That's cool. Been bored for 145. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Eight seventy-two. Floating crystal. I'm good. It's the only one I can see right now. Days when weather is better, she'll be out walking in the park first time out of her shuttle. Oh, that's awesome, man. Hopefully, it's a nice day for you. The weather's cooled down a lot lately. I mean, where I am, at least. Hopefully, for you, too. you are. Alright, John. Good to hear that. It's good to be that time. Memory not that bad, bro. You remembered it was a medical issue? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I kind of gleaned it from what you were saying. I'm not taking any credit where it's not due. I'd rather be honest than, than nice, if that makes sense. Caster. There you go. Can we make this bigger? Yes, we can. Why is it way down here? Oh, is it down where I can't get it? Good. Perfect. Awesome. That was a waste of time. It's hard to get monetized. 
on YouTube or Mixer. I am not monetized on Mixer, so I can't speak to that. Uh, I was monetized on Twitch for a little bit. That's That has more specific... You have to have a certain number of subscribers. So you have to appeal to a certain size audience before you can get uh, partnered, do the YouTube partner program. Um, so difficulty, I mean, if you can make content that people want to hang out and, and watch, then it's not hard. But if it's hard for you to make that sort of content, then yes, it is hard to monetize. It's kind of a kind of a subjective thing. What is that? Humming sack, okay. Uh, can we just not do that? Um, oh, darn. Oh, over there. Is that where I just came from? I think it might be. Let's climb this hill. This hill's stupid. Or maybe I'll call the ship and try to find a flatter area. This is a very, very rugged terrain. Didn't know how their requirements compared. Um... Well, I, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're looking to do live streams, it'll probably be easier to get partnered on Twitch. Um, if you're looking to produce uploaded videos, like videos for people to go back and watch, like on demand, um, it'd be easier to partner on YouTube. Because there is a... I don't know, I just said I was not going to go do that. But you know what? Let's, let's, let's call the freaking ship. Um... So the thing with partnering on Twitch or getting uh, no, it's affiliate uh, partnering comes later. So doing the whole thing with Twitch, there's a multi-step thing. But the first step is getting affiliated, which you can start making money there through like cheers and bits and all that stuff. Um, you have to have a certain number of hours streamed for the month or the week or the there's a certain time requirement. Uh, of streaming time that you have to do. There's a certain number of unique streams. So it's like, say if it's like 15 hours that you have to stream in the previous week or month or whatever it is, you can't just do like one 15 hour stream. You have to have unique streams. So you have to stream multiple different days. And then um, you have to have a average number of concurrent viewers, which the first one I think is like three or something like that. So it's not too hard to get that. But then for partner, it's something like 75 or something like that. Rid ridiculous, which I'm nowhere near. Um, but for YouTube, uh, I, it's a certain number of subscribers, I think. I think that's it. Um, and maybe a certain amount of watch time. So if you create some videos people enjoy watching and they go back and watch a lot and, you know, maybe not just a specific set of people, but like everybody. Um, you know, you can get partner once you get enough subscribers and enough watch time. But, uh, as far as like the actual money you make from ads and stuff, it's not that substantial at all. So, I mean, if you're looking to, if you're looking to stream and make money streaming and people want to give you money, then, then Twitch will probably be a good way to go. Cause people will want to give you bits and cheers and stuff. And it's easier to make money there. But if you end up being able to stream on YouTube, then you can get your super chats and stuff. Sorry, I kind of ranted there. <laughs> well, it's close to affiliate on Twitch, getting started, putting up vids on YouTube. Yeah, I mean that's that's the way you got to do it. I mean, um, get your get your audience built up elsewhere, and then bring them on over to YouTube. Hold on, does that work? Yeah, bring them over to YouTube to watch your videos later. And vice versa, I mean, however you want to do it, whatever your preferred platform is. There's a lot of things are in here. Pretty far out there, though. I'm going to start here. Nine. We'll go to the five. Nope. Five. Let's see here. Um, okay, now I have something to ask you. Uh... And Surian, hey, how's it going? Um, I mean, you can try if it's re really, really long. I mean, I'll do my best, but I can't guarantee it. Sorry, I just saw your question. Man, this train is ridiculous. Might go back to that other superheated planet. I think I'm going to do that. 
after I get this round of things. Many. Oh my. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh no. Oh no. So I was talking about that corrupted sentinel earlier. That's him. So weird. Whew, okay. Okay, sure. If it's too personal, I won't answer. I mean, <laughs> simple as that. Good lord. Okay, here we go again. At least he's not calling the big guys. All right, what we got? Well, before I take this down, let me make sure I got space. Oh, uh, let's get rid of the silicate. Let's get rid of the one carbon. Fairy dust can go into my cargo. Great, great, great. Okay. Oh, nice. And that's the second one. 1 1.9, 1 1.7. I'm not complaining. All right. So, train manipulator. It said that it was coming, but he, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm good with that. All right, where is my next one? Seven. Five. Let's do the five. Okay, well, it's not too revealing. It's something I ask everyone. Okay, well, it, my suggestion is just get to your question and stop asking me about the question so I can focus on playing the game and not answering your question. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be rude, just... Just, you've asked me like 18 times now to about the question. If you want to ask it, ask it. If I want to answer, I'll answer. Simple as that. Again, not trying to be rude. Just trying to focus on the game. It's getting kind of distracting at this point. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and do the. Uh oh, 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 you know, what? I should probably recharge myself. Not too bad. I think, um, hmm. I want to go get, you know, I, I, I can move stuff. I can move stuff. Not there. <laughs> I can move stuff there. Let's go ahead and put these guys on the freighter. I know I'm going to have to go pick them up in order to sell them, but I'd rather them be here than I die and lose them for some strange reason. And I also could put these other things, like on my ship, I think. I don't know these, oh, the ship's too far away. Okay, um. Move that there. Toxic protection. There is the closest nearest one. Coming sack. 901. Six eighty two and nine ninety eight. Let's go get the six eighty two.
All right, this should help pad the bank account a little bit better. A little bit more than we've been doing here lately. What is that? Oh, that's the thing sticking out of the ground. Got it. Air manipulator. Big as it'll go. Come on, be an expensive one. Looks like there's three here. Let's see how it goes. Bullet caster, mining beat. There you go. So much salvage, yeah, right? I ain't complaining. Rare item. Ooh, okay. For almost a mil. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, how many sack? Floating crystal. 742. Hopefully it's not that one that was in the side of the mountain again. Yeah, okay. If it is, then we'll just call it a day and uh, head on back to the ship or to the station. But actually, I think this is going to be a good time to wrap up this episode. Next episode, I will uh, probably continue searching through this stuff because uh, this is working out kind of nicely. And if that's a trading station, that'd be great. Oh, no, it's a custom marker. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on these planets uh, so I can I can get my, my finances up a little bit. And then we will continue with the story shortly. So uh, if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you're over on the Twitch or the Mixer side, hit that follow button as well. That'd be cool of you. Uh, but guys, do me a favor, share the videos, share the live streams, all that good stuff, because it helps us grow and it'll be super cool of you. But guys, be awesome, be excellent to each other, and I'll catch you another video. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.